Hi everybody, my name is Eliza Yoshida and I am coming to you from Maui, Hawaii. Today I get the privilege of sharing with you how to help our children to be empowered to address their own unique and specific uh, challenges with the use of our essential oils and really take a proactive approach to their overall well-being. I'm a public school educator for 16 years and I'm just so incredibly grateful and proud to be aligned with a company like doTERRA which really focuses on education and making sure that people are utilizing their essential oils and their other products effectively, safely, and just for the well-being and good of their entire family. So thank you so much for joining me today. Besides being an educator, I am also a mom of two. My son is nine and my daughter is seven. And when I started using doTERRA, they were just three and one. When I reflect back on her journey in the last six years, I have to kind of laugh because I really had no clue what I was doing. All I knew was that I had something that was telling me that there was options, that I had a choice and that I needed to go out there and find them. And it led me to doTERRA and I'm grateful every single day. And so that journey has been one of constant education, of constant learning, of constant growth, and ultimately of evolution. We continue to refine how we utilize these amazing oils and products in our life on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm just so grateful for having them in my lives and for having all of you to share with today. So First things first, a lot of times when parents are getting started with using essential oils, they're really cautious and wondering about safety. So one question that you might have is, what oils are safe for my child to use? And the answer when it comes to our doTERRA certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils is that they're all safe. They're all safe, but there are precautions that we have to take. So the first big precaution is that we do have some oils that are considered hot oils. And so we want to um, make sure that we keep those out of the reach of children. These oils include oils like cassia, cinnamon, clove, thyme, oregano, and any of our blends that include those essential oils in them. Now, along with keeping those types of hot oils um, out of the reach of children, uh, we also want to be mindful of other oils like some of our more minty oils like peppermint. You know, we definitely want to make sure our kids aren't utilizing that and then rubbing their fingers in their eye because that would be really uncomfortable. But we also have to be following proper dilution safety guidelines and protocols. And so when it comes to the use of our essential oils, we always want to remember that dilution is actually really important and it does not uh, negatively impact the efficacy or the um, you know power of the essential oil so we definitely always want to be following correct dilution uh, safety guidelines and we have all of that information doTERRA has provided it for us go ahead and check out their website or if you use your favorite search engine and just look up doTERRA and dilution you will get redirected to their blog you will get redirected to really helpful images that can help you uh, with that uh, part of your journey all right, so the second big question really comes down to, so, okay, I have these oils, they're safe for my kids to use. How do I teach them? And sometimes, how do I teach myself how to use them? Uh, as an educator, I really feel that routines are just so critical. They really help to create a sense of safety and security for our children. And what this does is it just allows them to know what to expect and what's expected of them. So uh, just like with, you know, keeping those certain oils out of their reach and letting them know that those are not oils that they should be touching without mommy and daddy's, you know, supervision. We also want to create routines that help them to know what they should be doing, when they should be doing that, and 
ultimately how and why it's helping to support them. So some of the simple routines that we followed since the beginning of our journey is, you know, on guard, diluted on guard. Now we have the touch roller. Now we have the stronger kids blend on the bottoms of the feet morning and night. We love to diffuse and we will keep oils by all of the diffusers in our house because that just makes it easier for us to use them. If the oils are spread out all over, chances are we're not going to be diffusing because it takes a little bit too much work. Um, so we definitely, you know, have created routines around diffusion, around topical application. We've also created routines for our supplements. So at the beginning of the week, I will take a supplement container and fill it up with everyone's supplements that they need to use morning and night. And so this really helps to create a sense of, you know, security and understanding with my kids about what to use and when to use them. Now, another way uh, to create a really simple um, routine is by utilizing some of the products that doTERRA has created that help us. So um, my next tip is actually to keep things as simple as possible because kids can get overwhelmed with too many directions and too much information. And so we want to keep these routines simple and manageable so that it really leads them to uh, overall success. I love this doTERRA Kids collection. I can't speak enough about this. This is actually our newest addition because I got one for each kid now prior they were sharing. So this kit comes with seven really unique blends. It's a great carrying case. Um, but what I love the most is the education that comes along with it. So in this case, there is a flashcard for each of the seven blends that are in here. And what your kid can do is go ahead and look at uh, the stronger flashcard, take out their stronger roller and read stronger on the back of your neck or bottoms of your feet for an added boost or for protection when you're not feeling your best. So I just absolutely love this kit. I feel like it helps to create a really simple routine. It helps to keep them simple for the kids. And so therefore they're more likely to be really successful. Another way that you can teach your kid is to model. And so we know that our children are always watching us, good, bad, or otherwise. And so by modeling uh, our use, our safe and effective and consistent use of our essential pro uh, oils and products, that they are you know, watching us and that they'll start to see that as part of their normal routine. So my kids see me using essential oils from the time I wake up to putting on my On Guard toothpaste with a drop of peppermint on it and brushing my teeth till the end of the day when I'm applying my hydrating cream with Yarrow Palm. They see me taking my supplements, they see me setting up the diffusers. That helps them to be encouraged to be a part of the process at home. All right, so we've talked about safety, which oils were safe, but is it safe for my kids to use essential oils? On so of course, as long as we take, you know, the proper precautions. So again, keeping those hot oils out of the reach of them, uh, making sure that everything is properly diluted. That's another reason why I love this kids collection because all of the rollers are already uh, perfectly pre-diluted for your kids use. Um, you want to follow proper dilution protocols if you're making your own essential oils, uh, roller blends and so forth. And you know, we really need to trust ourselves a little bit more. I know in the beginning, I wanted everything to be exact. I wanted to know exact recipes, exact blends. And what I've learned over time is that um, I love my kids and I want to do everything that I can to protect them and keep them safe. And so I am going to trust my instincts and my intuition. And now that I've come to know a lot more about the oils through education, you know, I'm able to better um, be of service to them and help them in their continued journey. So, you know, trust yourselves, lean into your oils. This is a really, really crazy time in our world. There is a lot of unease and unrest and just anxiousness in general. And so one thing that I would really highly recommend for you is to create, um, 
these routines in your new normal. So a lot of our new normal consists of staying home, homeschooling, teaching our own children. So as you are creating these new routines with your kids, I highly suggest that you utilize oils that can help to support you guys. So besides, you know, the simple routines in the morning and the afternoon, having oils and applying them before you're about to study, before you're about to teach, while you are cleaning, trying to learn more on how to integrate them in a more holistic way across, uh, you know, across your entire household. So um, I really appreciate you all joining me here today. I hope that you are staying well, that you are staying uh, safe, and that you're really enjoying this gift of time that we've been given to really hunker down and be surrounded by our family and our loved ones. Take care, everybody, and see you later. Bye.